good morning. I just ran to Sam's Club. Uh, I had to do a meeting with the teacher this morning, so I had to get some stuff from Sam's. So I just ran out real quick and I got some good deals. So let me show you what I got. I got some Gatorade and I also got some Cuties oranges. Yesterday with Lily, I also picked up some half and half and some almond milk. So the Gatorade is for football practice and I also got them some hot Cheetos and I'm uh, not practice a game. And I also got them some Rice Krispie treats with some like monster things just for Halloween. And yesterday with Lily, I got some caramel for our coffee and I got some caramel there to use some today for like um, caramel apple dip for apples for like breakfast, you know, cut the apples up, just holiday stuff. And I picked up some cheese just in case. I think I have cheese, but just in case. And then yesterday, or two days ago, we made a turkey um, in the smoker. So I'm going to, we ate it for dinner, so the rest is going to be sandwich meat. Then I went ahead and picked up some more red quinoa chips. We had uh, like um, chipotle bowls last night. They were supposed to be nachos, but we turned them into chipotle bowls, uh, minus the rice. They were super good. I used the little steak cut up steaks for um like you'd use for tacos and I just like put them in the slow cooker with chipotle sauce it was so good and then I had like whole beans it was good and then we put like pico and things you guys have to have that but I like these red quinoa chips and then I got some more Fritos I think I have one bag up there but my husband he'd be loving the Fritos so gotta get it for him um and then I found a deal guys I found the deal again uh the 464 Per pound and I saved nine dollars so whenever I see this and the pink looks perfect there's no brown on it I don't know what you guys can see but what I can see it's like perfect and and reddish pink and you know it's just a perfect cut um, and I got it for $28 so whenever I see this deal and I see the cuts looking good I pick it up because it's a great deal and I use this for stew meat and everything you've seen it on my hauls before if you're new here I use this I use the um, beef chuck roast for stew meat I use it for Anything, pot roast, anything that requires beef, it's so good. You can even cut this up into steaks and it's really good. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and freeze these two. Last time I got it, uh, I got it like two days, like two days in a row basically. It was like one day a part of each of them, of the days. But um, I, used, I cut some up for stew meat. It was really good. So I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense. <laughs> I'm trying to talk today. Um, and then I got this deal again, the prime rib steak burgers. Um, and I, uh, it's four twenty three a pound, um, which is a great price, cheaper than just the regular ground beef in the store, cheaper than the ninety ten ground beef right now. Um, and it is uh, prime rib beef and steak burgers. I don't know the percent on this uh, ground beef, but I just take the hamburgers and I freeze them in one layer, just like the four burgers in one of these bags. Sometimes I'll do double layers, but I feel like the air gets in less when you just do one layer. That's why I like to do the one layer. They thaw real quick and I just mush them up and I can use them for meatballs. I can use them for anything or just make burgers with them. So I got one, let's see, two, three, four and five packages so I'll just take these it takes usually about four I figured out to make a meal maybe five or six to make a meal when I'm like grounding them up depending on if I want leftovers or not um, if I'm doing like spaghetti or tacos or something like that so not too bad for um, just using them and getting a good deal off of them um, I plan to do meatball subs so I'm gonna take these hot dog buns and I'm gonna use some of them for meatball subs and some of them, because I have some hot dogs in the freezer, and we'll just do like an easy dinner one night after a football game or just whenever I need an easy dinner. I can even just stick these in the freezer until I need it. Um, but I just decided to pick up the pack because I thought it'd be fun to do like mini meatball subs with this. Um, you know, my husband can have a few or whatever. And then I got some more hairspray. I did order some shampoo and conditioner online. I do a lot of like online shopping too when I get deals. Um, but yeah, so that is what I picked up today. Uh, frequent your stores. Um, you will find deals when you frequent them. I will go in there as much as possible. So like if someone needs something, I'll just run in real quick and look at the meat section. And if I find good deals like this, I scoop them up because it helps our family so much with saving money. You wouldn't believe how much money you would save with just finding things on sale. But I don't buy it if it's got brown in it. I only get like the top good quality and these are great. Like, there's no brown. They're perfect. They look like the fresh ones they had out. So, I'm down. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. And check out my other videos. I just wanted to show you my quick deals. Bye, guys.
Okay, so I have to go. Um, I need to finish making my food. I'm making some lasagnas. I'm making one for dinner tonight and one for the freezer. And I'm making some meatballs for tomorrow. Just a quick little tip. You can make like a pre-made meatloaf or meatballs and you can freeze them without even cooking them. Um, or you can cook them and freeze them. And you'll have yourself a quick freezer meal. Um, and it is amazing. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Okay, now I'm really going to know. Bye. So I'm about to make my lasagnas, but I just wanted to show you this whole thing is full of meatballs. I still have to finish rolling them. I just used my ice cream scoop. Um, I have another one, but it looks like this. And I just mixed up my mix in the bowl. And I think I used eight patties. Um, and then I did like egg seasonings. Um, oh, let me turn this down. Egg seasonings and... Uh, breadcrumbs and I just mixed them up and so I'm going to take these and finish rolling them and then freeze them like this um and I'll just put some in the fridge for tomorrow's dinner um and th I just made a bunch of meatballs so now I don't have to do a lot of work and I it only took me like 10 minutes to roll out all those meatballs especially with that ice cream scoop guys or whatever scoop that is and then with eight other patties I went ahead and made I think I used eight in this whatever that video showed um I don't even know if I showed it but I made some homemade uh, spaghetti sauce. Uh, what I took out the freezer, freezer was some sausage. Um, I just used regular mild sausage this time. Um, and I just made some homemade spaghetti sauce with it. And so this is going to go on my lasagna. And so I'll have one tonight and one for tomorrow. I always make like a whole box and I try to do two lasagnas. So I'll have one for the freezer or one for tonight, one for the freezer, not tomorrow. So I just want to give you guys a heads up on how much food you can make um, just from stuff on sale. And then you don't have to uh, get stuff from the freezer section at the store. You'll be making it at home. And you'll be saving money. So really quick, I know I already ended the video, but I just wanted to show you. This is what I'm left over with after making the lasagnas. So I'm just going to add another can of uh, tomato sauce to this and kind of season it. And this will be for my uh, meatballs tomorrow. Um, and so I made two lasagnas. Um, I'm still grinding cheese. Excuse the mess. I've got lots to do today, like dishes. <laughs> I'm grinding cheese in my grinder for this, and so that's what this is. Um, and I'm just topping this, and then the rest of the cheese will go for my meatball subs tomorrow. So um, I think I might use this one for my meatball subs tomorrow, and then this one will be like meatballs and sausage for dinner one night. So I'll just freeze them one like this, and I'll put one of these in my fridge. Um, but it made two trays of meatballs. So that's great. So you guys, if you have a little bit of extra time to just throw some stuff together, I think everything took me about an hour to make for all of that food. That is so great. And like I said, I made a turkey. We made a turkey the other day, so we're going to cut this up for lunch meat. Um, and also, or I'm going to take it off the bone for lunch meat. Also do hams like that too. I'll take the ham and I'll cook it and then I'll do it for lunch meat as well. And I'll just put it into like portion bags. Um, and then like these hot dog buns, like I said, I'm going to do some with hot dogs, some with meatball subs. And I might even take a few of these out and toast these tonight for, um, uh, garlic bread. I think I want to use some of these for that because these make really good garlic bread too, just to go with our, um, lasagna. So even though I've got a little bit of mess to clean up, I have a bunch of meals and I just keep a garbage bag on the side to get all my garbage. It's great. So anyways, I hope I gave you guys some motivation. Now I'm really going to go. Bye, guys. There's nothing more satisfying than spreading cheese on top of lasagna. Yum.